The National Junior College Athletic Association Region 15 in Queensboro promote good sportsmanship by student athletes, coaches, and spectators. We request your cooperation by supporting the participants and officials in a positive manner. Negative comments, profanity, racist, sexist, or other pieces of comments or actions directed at officials, student athletes, coaches, or a team representative will not be tolerated and are grounds for removal from the facility. Queensboro thanks you for your support and your cooperation. And now the starting lineup for the Bronx Community College Broncos. At guard, number one, Derek Fernandez. At guard, number three, Ronald Washington. At forward, number 10, Ronell Ross. At forward, number 11, Kevin Pimentel. At forward, number 20, Bud McQueen. The assistant coach of the Chicago, the Warren Thompson, the Lamont Watson, the head coach is Sean Kelly. And now the starting lineup for the very own Queensboro Community College Tigers. From Franklin High School, at guard, number 15, Wayne Grady. From Rona High School, at forward, number 25, Jordan Jackson. From Park Hill High School, at guard, number 20, Eric Grady. From Franklin High School, at guard, number 23, The associate coaches, Damien Porkwater, David Van Diver, Patrick Pitt, and the head coach is Robert Hoffman, Jr. This is QCC alum David Russell. The Bronx Broncos about to take on the Queensboro Tigers. Queensboro looking for their first win against the Bronx in four years. The Broncos starting five. Derek Fernandez, Ronald Washington, Rennell Ross, Ke Kevin Pimentel, and Bud McQueen. The starting five for Queensboro, Troy Singleton, Dwayne Bridey, Eric Light, OJ, and Jordan Chateau. Queensboro in the white and Bronx in the black. Broncos come into this game at six and six. Queensboro looking for their fifth win of the year. Chateau will jump with McQueen. And it's saved in. And Bronx will start off with the ball. Ronald Washington directing the offense. Ojugbele guarding him. Pimentel. Nice pass, but traveling is called. Ball goes to Queensboro. Some pressure put on by Bronx to open OJ. Jay back out to Singleton. Ojugbele makes his move. He can't put it in off glass. It's rebounded by Pimentel. Up ahead to Washington, and Washington can't lay it in. Rebounded by Bridey. Nice bounce pass to Singleton. White jumper is good. Two nothing Queensboro. And a nice pass gave it in good position for White to catch and shoot. And White knocked down the jumper. Two nothing Queensboro. Bronx looking for their first points of the game and it's thrown away. Now the other ref comes in and say it was deflected out. So it'll stay with Bronx with 21 on the shot clock. Derek Fernandez inbounding. Have to get it in in five seconds, and they do. Rennell Ross to Fernandez. Three-pointer taken is good by Kevin Pimentel, and it's 3-2 Broncos. Ojugbele, Singleton. Goes the other way. Jumper from OJ is no good. Rebounded by Chateau. 
and the put back off glass is good. 4-3 Queensboro. Washington. Washington takes a long jumper and it's no good. And Queensboro comes away with it and Light is fouled. Foul will be on Kevin Pimentel. His first and the team's first. Clock not running. And now the ref notices. So only one second was taken off the shot clock and now the ref says hold up again. Shot clock is at 31 now. Chateau to Singleton. Ojugbali. Alley oop. Wyatt tipped it. And Brighty hits a three. Dwayne Brighty from downtown and it's 7 3 Queensboro. Pimentel goes baseline, kick out, Washington for three. Barely glazes the rim. And Ross was on the line, ball to Queensboro. Good start for the Tigers, they lead 7-3, two and a half minutes in. They have to get it across in four seconds, and they do. OJ, Chateau, White lost the handle on it. Now Fernandez coming back the other way. Nice pass inside, Pimentel got it to McQueen and Bud McQueen makes it 7-5. Oh, Jugbley. Bridie now puts up another jumper and it's good again. It's a long two for Dwayne Bridie. He has five early points and Queensboro has a 9-5 lead. Washington to Pimentel. Two man passing done by the Broncos. Now they work it to McQueen and McQueen misses. And a foul is called against the Broncos. Second team foul against Bronx. And the first personal foul on Rennell Ross. They have to get it across, and they do. Ojugbali lost it out of bounds. Fernandez. Calling out the play. Fernandez was given some room by Bridey, and then he passes to Washington, who knocks down the jumper. 9-7. Ojugbali threw up a wild one, and it was no good. And then a foul is called against the Tigers. And it's the first foul on Jordan Chateau. Joseph Turner goes in for Queensboro. And Ojugbali will go to the bench. And has a word with Robert Holford. Washington walking it up. Ross, handoff to Fernandez. Nice give and go, but it was slightly behind Washington. Another Bronx turnover, and it's Queensboro ball up by two. Not a bad play by the Bronx. They had something there if the pass was a little more in front of Washington. Singleton is blocked. And now Washington is pushing it. Washington kick out, Pimentel. 
Now Washington will take it out. They still have 23 on the shot clock. No rush. White guarding Washington. Pass to Ross and Ross lost his footing and traveling is called. Singleton, White now. Eric White being guarded by Ross and now they switch off. Bridey got it to Singleton, the corner three is good. Troy Singleton from downtown and it's 12-7. Washington tries to answer back and does. 12-10. Ronald Washington, one of the three Broncos that started every game this year. As the foul is called. And that's the second on Chateau. And Chuck Sabunse will go in for Chateau. Bronx Kintyre take the lead, five and a half minutes in. Fernandez gives, gives it to Washington. Washington down low and McQueen counted and the foul. Bud McQueen ties the game at 12. McQueen air balls a free throw. And the first foul on Eric White. Twelve twelve, Tiger Ball. Singleton to Turner. Turner to White. Jumper is rebounded by Washington. Washington guarded by Singleton. Washington thought about going baseline. Gets it to McQueen. Chucks a Boonse right up on him. And a Boonse tripped him. First foul on a Boonse. Fourth team foul on the Tigers. Pimentel. McQueen couldn't put the reverse layup in. Singleton. Abunse top of the key to Turner. Singleton to Bridey. Didn't use the screen by White. Singleton. McQueen got a hand on the pass. Loose ball and it's picked up by Turner. And the shot clock reset. Turner puts up the three and it's good. Joseph Turner from downtown and the Tigers lead 15-12. Fernandez. White got a hand in on it. Ross to Pimentel. Brighty right up on Fernandez. McQueen down low, and a charge is called. Good job by Abunse to pick up the charge, and it's the first foul on Bud McQueen. Stop! Stop! Don't start! Don't start! Don't start! Chuck, you got the new one! Chuck, you got the new one! Singleton gets it to Bridey. Bridey, long two, rims out and rebounded by Rennell Ross. Washington now calling out the play. Hey, 
Bronx likes to run a lot of screens. Pimentel, the jumper, is no good. Rebounded by Ross. And Ross's putback is no good. Abunte gets it to Singleton. Bridey, three-pointer. And nothing but black jerseys there for the rebound. And it was pulled down by Felix. Fernandez. Nice bounce pass, and Ross, blocking foul is called. Chuck got two, coach. Point 32, coach. Second on Chucks. Bar up and make the guy go back side on the screen. Don't stand there and let him just fall down the lane. Who Bigs are in a bit of trouble. Two on Chateau, two on the Boonsay. They call that on number 20. Fifteen thirteen, and the second one is missed. And now full court pressure. Chris Brown nearly lost it. And now Queensborough has numbers. Peloso corner three is off. And it goes out of bounds and the refs have a word and it will stay with Queensborough. As Nolan Emery goes in for Chuck Sabunse. Singleton inbounding. Peloso. Tamari. Turner. Being guarded by Pimentel. Singleton. Fernandez all over him. Singleton baseline jumper is long. And Ron Washington with the rebound. Washington puts up the three. And Bronx takes the lead. Bronx goes up 16-15. Washington has eight points. Singleton, Peloso. Peloso counted on the foul. Peloso's first points of the game gives Queensboro the lead. Coach Holford has a word with his team. Back and forth half. There's an injured Bronco. Tried to take the charge from Peloso. So Felix will go to the bench for the Broncos. Peloso will try to finish the conventional three-point play. Can't. And Ross with the rebound. And some half court pressure being employed by the Tigers. Fernandez. And Fernandez is fouled by Turner. And that's the sixth foul on the Tigers. Mental. Peloso playing off of him. Now Pimentel blows right past him. And the charge is picked up by Nolan Emery. 
And that will be the second foul on Pimentel. Singleton, Fernandez got a hand in. It'll stay with QCC. They should attack Pimentel here. Pimentel has two fouls and there are no Broncos ready to sub in for him. Turner. Turner puts up a three and it rims out in the rebound by Pimentel. And the Broncos are only playing with eight players. So foul trouble, very important as the charge is picked up by Singleton. That's the first foul on Derek Fernandez. And now Pimentel goes to the bench. And Felix goes back in for the Broncos. Feeling better after taking the charge from Peloso. Emery. Singleton. Singleton gives it to Brown and Brown can't put it in off glass. Broncos trying to take back the lead. Nice bounce pass to Felix. Basket is no good, tipped. And Brown comes away with it. Singleton. As they didn't reset the shot clock. There's a problem with the fouls. It says 12 fouls for, 12 fouls for the Bronx, obviously not. So the ref is at the scorer's table trying to get that figured out. I believe it's six fouls against Bronx. As Coach Holford is giving Turner a lesson. Now the scoreboard is all set. Queensboro leading 17-16 with nine and a half minutes to go in the first. Singleton launches a three and it's good. Troy Singleton with his second three-pointer and QCC goes up 2016. Washington nearly lost it. Washington being guarded by Peloso, the floater is no good, got his own rebound and then gets it to Sanchez. Felix now guarded by Emery, the tough jumper is no good. And another rebound. Counted and the foul. Poor boxing out by the Tigers and it's two points for the Broncos. Brunel Ross with his first points of the game. And he has a word with the ref. Ross averaging 17 points per game to go along with the little over 13 rebounds. And Rennell Ross finishes the three-point play, 2019. Peloso three-pointer is no good. And Sanchez saves it into Fernandez. And Fernandez is called for traveling. Singleton. And Fernandez picks his pocket. And a foul committed by Singleton. First foul on Singleton, the seventh on Queensboro. 
First free throws off by Fernandez, who's still looking for his first point. As Chris Aubrey goes in for Troy Singleton. Fernandez splits the free throws and it's 20-20. Aubrey up ahead to Peloso. And Peloso's shot is blocked. Bud McQueen blocked the shot. And now Fernandez is called for another charge. Second foul on Fernandez. And Fernandez goes to the bench. Aubrey being guarded by Washington. And Aubrey, the left-handed floater is no good. Washington. Bronx trying to take the lead. Washington. Sanchez for three, and it rims out. And it's Queensboro ball. Aubrey. Bridie puts up a three, and it's an air ball. And then the foul is called against Chris Brown. One in one situation. Bud McQueen will try to give his Broncos the lead. And he misses. And it will stay with Bronx. Last touch by a Tiger as Ojugbali goes in. OJ goes in for Chris Brown. Sanchez inbounding. They get it to Washington. Ross, baseline pass was tipped and a foul was called. Queensboro ball, no foul called, it's just a violation. Full court press, Aubrey. Turner misses badly. OJ with the rebound. Loose ball and Bronx comes away with it. Washington with eight early points. McQueen goes out of bounds. It'll stay with the Broncos. Washington. McQueen, Bridie playing off of him. Sanchez, guarded by Turner. They're down to five on the shot clock. Washington launches a long two. Misses, loose ball. And it's last touched by Ross. QCC ball with 6.35 remaining in the first. Aubrey to OJ. OJ pulls it back out. Aubrey. Still at 20 on the shot clock. Aubrey directing traffic. Not a lot of movement. OJ launches a three, and it's no good. Not a good possession, a lot of standing around. And then a long jumper taken. Ross loses it. Ross was asking for a foul, didn't get it. 
Bridie to Aubrey, and Aubrey is called for traveling. No basket, tried to be more aggressive, but was called for traveling. And Robert Holford wants his team to be more aggressive. Washington, Sanchez puts up a long jumper, it's no good. It would have been a two. Turner had to go through his hands. Bronco ball, 2020. Five and a half minutes to play in the first. Sanchez as Turner flops and Sanchez misses loose ball and OJ that'll be a tie up I believe and it is Queensboro ball on the alternating possession Pimentel is back in Aubrey, they have to get it across, and they do. Nice bounce pass, and OJ puts it in off glass. OJ's first points of the game make it 22 20 Queensboro. Pimentel. Pimentel always stripped by Turner. Turner. Be nice if he attacks Pimentel, and Turner kind of lost the handle on the way up. Ross. Three pointer taken is no good. Rebounded by Aubrey. Coach Holford telling Turner if he attacked Pimentel, he could have picked up the third foul on him. Coach Holford calls out the play. Turner. Nice pass down low, but it's no good. And then the tip in is 24 20. Defense chance starts up, under four minutes to play. Washington. Down low, and a foul is called. And Ross will go to the line for two. Tenth foul of the half against the Tigers. Says one on the board. Says one on the board. First foul on OJ. One foul. Coach. Full timeout taken by Bronx and Sean Kelly. Sean Kelly in his first year as Broncos coach replacing Shannon McKinnon. Bronx, the CUNY champions of 2011 and 2012 looking for the three-peat this year. They're gonna have to deal with Hostos. Hostos is in first place in the conference right now. They're actually number nine nationally, the Caymans are. Bronx started the season 4-0, including a 29-point win against the Tigers, 88-59. Since then, though, they've lost six of the last eight. Broncos made the final four last year before losing to Sandhills, 85-84. Broncos now win the Sean Kelly era. Kelly previously coached at Bergen County Community College. His father, Steve, is the athletic director at rival BMCC. As Kelly has a word with McQueen. 
And now Ross will try to hit the second free throw. Grinnell Ross last year in the CUNY Championship game hit the game winning shot with 11 seconds to go to beat the Hostos Caymans. And Ross makes a second. It's 24-21. 3.45 to go in the first. Turner, Aubrey, Aubrey floater is good. Nice play out of the timeout, it's 26-21. To Mental, and a charge is called. They were looking for. That's the third foul on Pimentel and he's gonna have to sit out the rest of the first half. Queensboro up by five, 315 to go in the first. Singleton, and Turner. Turner pulls back, step back jumper. Can't get the friendly roll. Loose ball. Tigers come up with it. Come out. Swing it. Bounce pass inside. Shot is off. Eric White missed the mark. Bronco ball. Game has been tight throughout. It's 26-21 Queensboro. Two minutes and 40 seconds to play in the first. Washington guarded by Singleton. Step back three is off. And no box out. Ross, and a foul is called. It'll be on Nolan Emery. It's the first. You got two? One. As the ref has word with the scorer's table. Now the scoreboard says Bronx has committed 10 fouls. Now it's at 8. Everything squared away with the scoreboard. And Rennell Ross is at the line for two shots. First is good, it's 26-22. Queensboro has basically held Ross in check. Ross averaging 17 points per game. He has five so far. Make it six. Not doing a lot of damage, especially considering Chateau and Abunse both picked up two early fouls. Aubrey. And a foul is called away from the ball. Be a one and one, no jug bleed to the line. A second foul on Bud McQueen. OJ makes the front end of the one and one. 27-23. OJ! Back up, Chris, back up! Get up! Go! Drop, drop, drop! Some good trap put on by Queensboro. Washington. Sanchez. And now Felix. Nice pass inside. 
Lost a handle on it. Two on one, Turner takes it strong and lays it in. Joseph Turner makes it 30-23. 105 seconds to go in the first. Ross against Emery, now Felix outside. Felix to Sanchez, outside to Ross. Down to 12 on the shot clock and it's thrown into the bleachers on a hop. Queensboro ball with 128 remaining in the first. Aubrey. Turner. Don't play with it. Emery puts up a three and it's no good. Bronx ball, 70 seconds to go. Tigers up by seven. Sanchez, one minute to play in the first. Queensboro ball. And then a blocking foul is called. Blocking foul, I believe, no. Foul is on Chris Aubrey. One. The first foul on Aubrey. Felix makes it first. Berlin Guy Felix has his first point of the night. It's 30 24. Bonk! Misses a second, and Bronx comes away with it. Felix, no good. Out of bounds ball to Queensboro with 50 seconds to go. Time worked out well for Bronx. They'll probably get off the final shot. Aubrey. Singleton to Aubrey. 20 on the shot clock. Turner being guarded by Sanchez. Singleton. They're down to 12. Far away from the basket. Guy gets something close. They're down to eight, seven, six. Turner. Turner, tough shot, is short. Bronx ball, still 15 seconds to go. And Washington misses. They decided not to take the final shot. Aubrey, floater, no good. Got it back. And Aubrey can't put it in again. And that'll do it for the first half. A solid half for Queensboro. They end the half on a 10-4 run. And they go into halftime leading 30-24. Second half about to begin. Queensboro leading Bronx 30-24. Troy Singleton and Ojugbele leading the way for Queensboro with six points apiece in the half. <laughs> Bronx looking to come from behind and avoid falling to under 500. See if the foul trouble comes into play in this half. Pimentel, who's going to inbound right in front of the camera, had three fouls in the first half. And a few Tiger bigs. Chateau and Abunse picked up two apiece. Washington, top of the key. 
Nice play out of the half. Ron Washington from downtown, it's 30-27. Singleton, alley-oop, was intercepted. And Washington crossover, and the shot is blocked. And Robert Holford calls a 30-second timeout. Holford not happy with the start of this half. Fernandez inbounding. Pass was tipped, it got to Ross. So about the three. Washington to Pimentel. Pimentel lost his footing, and he goes out of bounds ball to QCC. to Singleton, guarded by Fernandez. Righty, Singleton nearly stepped out of bounds and now the ref says he did. Bronco ball, as Eric White will go in for the Tigers. White goes in for Ojugboy. Fernandez. Guarded by Brighty, Washington left alone, and Washington ties the game. Back to back threes for Washington to begin the second half, and it's 30 30. 14 points for Washington. And a holding foul is called. That's number four on Pimentel. One more, and he's done. So Pimentel will go to the bench and Aubrey will inbound. Singleton to Aubrey. Aubrey trying to get to Chateau. And a foul is called against the Broncos. Third foul on Bud McQueen. As Berlin Guy Felix goes in for Bud McQueen. Bridie to Aubrey. Aubrey gets it back. Bridey passes intercepted. And Washington will lay it in. He scored all eight points in this half. It's now 32-30. Eight nothing run for the Broncos to begin the half and all eight points from Ronald Washington. Tigers looking to tie or take the lead. Alley-oop, Chateau finishes. Jordan Chateau ties the game at 32. Tigers hoping the offense can pick up their defense. Fernandez guarded by Singleton. Washington 
Washington is in the zone. It's 34-32 Bronx. 18 points for Washington. Tigers trail 34-32, nearly three minutes into the second. Aubrey guarded by Washington. And Washington forces a steal. Tigers get it right back. Singleton back to Aubrey. Singleton corner three, no good. And Chateau will be called for the foul. Bronx looking to extend their lead. Felix, nice spin move, couldn't finish. Turner, bounce pass to Singleton, and Singleton puts it in, 34-34. Broncos back the other way, Fernandez. Three-pointer is no good, rebounded by Chateau. And it was Ronald Washington with the rare miss. Aubrey slows it down. Jumper for the lead, rims out. And it's rebounded by Fernandez. Washington will take it back out. Still 23 to go on the shot clock. Sanchez to Fernandez, thought about putting up the three. He hasn't hit a field goal yet, just one free throw. Long pass. And Felix got right by Chateau, who lost his footing, and it's 36-34. Broncos lead. Chuck Sapunte and Nolan Emery getting ready to go in for QCC. Aubrey, baseline, was too high off the glass, out of bounds, ball to the Bronx. Twelve four run to begin the half for the Bronx. <laughs> Fernandez. Ross. Outside Felix thought about the three. Now puts it up. And Abunse is there for the rebound. Turner. Singleton to Turner. Emery. Aubrey was asking for it, got it. Back out Turner. Singleton. Now takes it out, 14 on the shot clock, puts up the three. Tigers lead, 37-36. Singleton now in double digits with 11 points. Fernandez. Sanchez to Felix. Back out, Washington. And a foul is called against QCC. Come on, no, it's too easy. Washington, nearly lost it, out of bounds, and they say it went off Singleton. That was a close one, nearly went off Fernandez last. Still Bronco ball with 29 on the shot clock. Fernandez, and a blocking foul is called. And that's the third foul on Chuck Sabunte. So 
And timeout is called by Sean Kelly. 37-36, Queensboro leading with 13.49 to go. Coach Holford saying his team has no killer instinct. Went into halftime with a six point lead. Bronx ended up going ahead. Now Queensboro leads by one. A look around the region. Queensboro is eighth in the regional standings right now. Sullivan at the top, followed by Hostos, Rockland, and Suffolk. Nassau started off seven and oh, they lost five of six before winning their last game, and Ulster is still winless. Bronx looking to take the lead. Fernandez inbounding. Washington, spin move, pass down low. Off glass, it's good by Berlin Guy Felix. 38-37, Broncos lead. Six and a half minutes to play. Six and a half minutes into the half, excuse me. Emery dribbles out, Aubrey. Here, Turner to Singleton. Loose ball, Singleton goes on the floor for it. Gets it to Emery, and Emery shot is too high. Bronco ball. Fernandez to Ross, and Ross is called for traveling. Good call by the ref, and it's Tiger ball as Ojugbali will go in for Emery. And Dwayne Brighty goes in for Joseph Turner. Aubrey have to get it across in three, two, and they do. They avoid the 10 second violation. Tiger ball with 23 to go on the shot clock. Bridey. Bridey, mid range jumper is good. Dwayne Bridey's jumper puts the Tigers ahead 39 38. Fernandez alley oop for Ross. Ross back outside. And Sanchez is fouled. Holford telling his staff that he's not going to yell at the ref. The ref says two free throws, even though the Broncos Sanchez was probably in the process of passing. First free throw is no good. Chateau goes in for Abunse. Abunse has four fouls, one more, and he's done. Sanchez looking to split the free throws. Misses both. And he's still scoreless on the night. Pass is tipped and hit somebody in the first row. Bud McQueen goes in for the Broncos. Bridie. Almost lost, they got it to Aubrey, and Aubrey misses a three. It's rebounded by Ross. Fernandez. Fernandez gets it to Ross. Ross, kick out, three-pointer. It's a long two, and it's off. Broncos with the rebound. Washington. Washington runs over Chateau. Broncos will keep it with 28 on the shot clock. Jumper 
No good. Rebounded by Abunse. Excuse me, Ojugbele. And now the Broncos get it right back. And the basket is good by Fernandez. It's 40-39, Bronx. And another steal. Fernandez with another layup. 42-39. Timeout, Queensboro. So Fernandez is stealing the layup and is stealing the layup and the Broncos lead 42-39 with 11.28 remaining. Queensboro looking for their first win against the Bronx in four years. They trail by three. Eighteen nine spurt to start the half for the Bronx. Still a long way to go. Bronx rated 500 at six and six and a new look team this year. No Ernest Quay, no Chris Davis. Just Rennell Ross returning. Full court press, Aubrey. Gets it to Turner, Singleton nearly lost it. Up ahead to Chateau, and Chateau misses the layup. Chateau didn't know if he wanted to dunk or lay it in, and now a charge is called against Bud McQueen, and that's his fourth. Four on McQueen. One more and he's done. Tiger should attack him. Singleton to Bridey. And Bridey is called for traveling. And now Kevin Pimentel goes in for the Bronx. He also has four fouls. One more and he's done. Bronx ball, 11 minutes to play. Pimentel, guarded by Turner. 22 on the shot clock. Pimentel, nice pass, Ross. And a foul is called. As Coach Holford calls his team over for a talk. Refs didn't say who the foul was on. So the foul was on Dwayne Bridey, it's his first. And now Troy Singleton has blood on his shirt. So another delay. New number. New number. So Troy Singleton gets a new jersey, blood jersey. So now Troy Singleton will be wearing number four.
First free throw is good, it's 43-39. Ross now with seven points. Splits the free throws, rebounded by Chateau. Aubrey to Bridey. Bridey being guarded right by Felix. Bridey kick out, three pointer, rims out, and it's rebounded by Rennell Ross. Derek Fernandez handling the point guard duties. Fernandez, spin move, no whistle. Chateau with the rebound. Aubrey to Brighty, and Brighty puts up a three. No good. Bronx ball, under 10 minutes to play. Fernandez. Washington. Washington, Ross, nearly a backcourt violation, saved it just in time. Ross, high off glass, no good, the tip back is no good. Turner and Pimentel got a hand on it. It'll be Queensboro ball, but a good job by Pimentel to break up a fast break opportunity. Aubrey, singleton for three, no good. Let's see if that's an over the back foul against Chateau. And it is. That's the fourth on Chateau. One more and he's done. See what Coach Holford does about his bigs. So Ch Chateau has four fouls, and if he puts in a boon, say a boon, say also has four. So Chateau goes to the bench. Bronco Ball looking to extend their four point lead. It's Nolan Emery who's in for Chateau and he's guarding Ross. Now he switched off and he's guarding Fernandez. 13 on the shot clock. Fernandez, nice bounce pass. Ross nearly lost the handle on it and puts it in. 45-39. 840 to go. Aubrey. Guarded by Fernandez. And Ross with the strip. And Fernandez is fouled. Yo, I got him right here. So Queensboro with just nine points in the first 11 and a half minutes of the second. Second foul on Nolan Emery. And now Chuck Sabunse goes in with four fouls. And Coach Holford taking a gamble on his freshman First one is good, it's 46-39. run by the Broncos in this half. Hey, Makes them both, it's 47-39. 
And now some pressure by the Broncos. And nearly a steal, and it is a steal. Bounce pass, counted on the foul. The Broncos go up by 10 with 8.22 remaining. The full court press cost fits for the Tigers, and it's a full timeout. Forty-nine, stunning turn of events for the Tigers. Big conference game this year. They're one and three in conference play so far. They lost at Bronx. They lost at BMCC. They won at home against Kingsboro, and they lost at Hostos. This would be their first loss at home in a conference game this year. So somehow a nice, comfortable six-point halftime lead is now a 10-point deficit. 25 to nine, Broncos in the second half. Basically dominating each aspect of the game. Tigers will have to hope for their own comeback. Ross trying to finish the three-point play. And does, it's 50-39. Ross now has a dozen points. 8.15 to go, Aubrey. Abunse down low, and Abunse can't hit. Loose ball. Out of bounds, Queensboro keeps it with exactly eight minutes to play. Nolan Emery goes right back in. Emery goes in for Dwayne Bridey. Aubrey, if he gets it and they could set a screen for him again, he should try taking it baseline. He had a good look at something and said dribbled out towards the top of the key. Apunse. Outside to Turner. Turner guarded by Felix. And Turner. Foul is on Felix. QCC ball, 7.40 to go. Turner. Turner, no good. Abunse. Loose ball and it's almost saved in. And it's Bronco ball. Leave unless they say it's a foul. There'll be free throws for the Bronx. Let's go. Here you go. Yeah. Watch quick, Nolan. I have for my high school team. Ross makes it first. It's 51-39. Ross doing most of his damage at the free throw line tonight. It's done, it's done. It's done. Makes both, it's 52-39. Coach Holford wants his team to hurry up. Time is not on their side, they're facing Bronx and the clock. 
and Aubrey is fouled. That'll help take points off the lead without time coming off the clock. Now they just have to make their free throws. Second foul on Rennell Ross. Ref having a word with the scorer's table. Coach Holford has a quick word with his team. And Chuck Sabunse is fouled out. Turns out the foul at the other end was on Sabunse. So Boonsay fouls out with 7.19 to go. Eric White in for QCC. Ah, make it. Aubrey makes the first, it's 52-40. Aubrey looking to make both. And he does, it's 52-41. Some pressure put on by Queensboro. Then Singleton playing a bit off of Ronald Washington. Washington nearly lost it. Washington in the lane and a foul is called. As Coach Holford has a word with Nolan Emery. Queensboro trailing by 11. Washington at the line. Makes the first, it's 53-41. 54-41, Ronald Washington with 20 points. A game high 20 points. Tigers down by 13 with under seven minutes to play. Turner, baseline, and the shot is good. It's 54-43. See how the Broncos play up by 11. They try to run some time off the clock. Six and a half minutes to play. Broncos content to run some time. A bit of four corners. 12 on the shot clock. Fernandez guarded by Aubrey. Down to six. Five, Fernandez. Ross, three, two. Can he beat the shot clock? Pimentel misses. Aubrey to Turner. Turner can't put it in. Tip in, no good. Loose ball. Queensboro keeps it. Aubrey to Emery. Aubrey. And traveling is called. And that makes Sean Kelly happy. And the rest of the Bronx sideline. Sub goes in. And it's Carl Benjamin seeing his first action of the season. In for Joseph Turner.
Bucks ball, Washington, the blocking foul is called. Queensboro wanted to speed up the Broncos a little bit. Didn't want to see them take 35 seconds off the clock, so they got aggressive. They fouled. That's the third foul on Chris Sawbury. Ronald Washington at the line, makes the first. 55-43. Makes both, 56-43. Tigers need points and they need points fast. Aubrey baseline blocked. Bronco ball, 540 to go. And Sean Kelly wants his team to slow it up a bit. And Pimentel. Foul is called against Queensboro with 5.31 remaining. The third foul on Eric Light. The mental, 57-43. Pimentel makes both, it's 58-43. All of a sudden, a 15-point lead for the Broncos. Turner underneath, and then Emery misses, and the Broncos have it. Pimentel to Washington, and Sean Kelly telling his team to spread it out. No rush. Pimentel, bounce pass Washington. Pimentel, back to Washington, down to 13 on the shot clock. Fernandez. Down to six, five, Fernandez. Loose ball deflected, three-pointer is good. A dagger by Ronald Washington. 25 points and it's 61-43. All of a sudden, Queensboro down by 18 and they can't find anything on offense. <laughs> 37 to 13 in the second half for the Broncos. Doesn't get much more lopsided than that. A tale of two halves as the Broncos will hope to run a little clock. Whistle will give it back to the Tigers. Get Troy back in. We Turner. Being guarded by Fernandez. Peloso misses badly on the three. Olford has to insert his shooters. That's why Peloso is in. Four minutes to play. Tigers still playing off a bit. And Sean Kelly calls timeout with 3.56 to go. His Broncos lead 61-43. Wants to make sure no funny business is happening. Don't want one bad turnover, one bad possession. And he's seen his team go from down six to up 18. Tigers, the last time they played was right here against Duchess nearly a month ago. They won 77-44. Broncos are a little tougher than Duchess, though. The Broncos have lost four in a row before beating Kingsborough. 
by 57. And now the Broncos look for another win. This would be two in a row. And Broncos looking to get above 500. Bronco ball. And now some trapping by Queensboro. Fernandez gets it to Washington, another three. No good. And out of bounds. It actually worked out for Bronx that they said he was out of bounds because if they let play continue, Queensboro would have had a layup opportunity and a two on one. Aubrey. Turner in the corner. Aubrey, guarded by Washington. They gotta go fast. Aubrey, off glass, no good. Should tell the putback tip is good. And it's 61-45. And timeout Queensboro with 320 remaining. Tigers down 16 with 3.20 to go. Usually don't seem teams foul down by 16 with 3.20 to go, but if I had to guess, I would say they're going to press. Some coaches aren't big on the full court press. Former Queensboro coach Larry Dantzler rarely used it. Nobody guarding the inbounder. And they get the pass in to McQueen. 3.15 to go. They get it across half court. And they go into their four corners. Spreading it out. Kick out, corner three. It's good. Brunel Ross from downtown at 64-45. Off glass, it's good, 64-47, 2.40 to go. Down to 20 on the shot clock. Ross, jumper, no good. Took that shot a bit early. And then a foul is called. With 2.22 remaining. And the foul is against the Tigers. First is off, as Troy Singleton goes in. Misses both, out of bounds, ball to QCC. Aubrey, Queensboro ball. They need a miracle now, down 17 with 2.12 to go. And a foul is called. 
what they could hope is to cut it to about eight or nine with a minute to go. As Brian Nation and Guam Davis are getting ready to see the first action of the game for the Tigers. Aubrey gets a friendly roll on the first at Splits the free throws. And Davis commits the foul with 2.08 to go. So that'll be free throws for the Broncos. Splits the free throws at 65 48 with 208 remaining. Trying to get to Turner. And the intentional foul is called. Pimentel thought it was called on him at first. He got elbowed in the face. It's an intentional foul on Turner. So either the arm or the elbow hit him above the neck. So Coach Holford having a word with the ref. While Pimentel is at the line. So be two shots and the ball for the Bronx. Broncos leading by 17 with two minutes to go. First is good. Sixty-seven forty-eight. Twenty-nine to nine run for the Broncos. Queensborough was up thirty-nine thirty-eight in the second half. Got to Fernandez. And it's thrown away. QCC ball with 1.57 to go. Aubrey will inbound. Got to Turner. Under two minutes to play. And Turner, it's short. And Coach Holford telling his team to foul, and they do. 
with 1.45 to play. And there'll be more free throws for the Broncos. As Turner goes to the bench to have a word with Coach Holford. Why can't you go so strong that you still finish and then I, I still make it? Why can't you come to miss me? Come to the rest. Now, Cal. Make it. Washington can't hit the first. Now, Cal. 25 points for Ronald Washington. Player of the game. Makes it both, misses both. 100 seconds to go. Aubrey to White. White launches a three and it's off. And Washington <laughs> threw it off Chateau. It'll be Bronco ball with 93 seconds to play. Pressure, it rolls out of bounds, ball to QCC. 1.30 to go. Andre McFarland goes in for the first time for the Tigers. Corner three from Singleton is no good. Rebounded by Fernandez. Foul, foul, foul. And another foul committed. And more free throws for the Bronx. Short on the first. Well, I think it's, uh, oh. it's about uh, 28 to 10. Bounce pass, Turner baseline underneath to McFarland who puts it in. 67 50. Washington may have gone away with stepping on the line and then a foul is called against QCC with 1.05 to go. More free throws. As Chateau fouls out. Sixty-eight fifty. Yeah, BBQs. BBQs. Uh huh. Sixty-nine fifty. Thirty-one to eleven run. Bronx is currently in. Loose ball. Fernandez will dribble out. Coach Holford telling his Tigers not to foul. This will be the last possession for the Broncos. Remember last year, the two meetings, Bronx scored 100 points each time, including 126 in the first meeting. Not a bad defensive performance for Queensboro. Held Bronx to 69 points. A lot of that from the line. Ross misses. Queensboro's final possession. Aubrey misses. McFarland missed the putback. Singleton. 12 seconds to go. Brown underneath plays it in. 69-52, and that should do it. Bronx will improve to 7-6 and six on the season. Queensboro will still look for their fifth win. This is QCC alum David Russell, the final. Bronx 69, Queensboro 52. I'm trying to put the hoops on so nobody shoot at 
still would have shot him. Oh, oh, I'm still going to shoot it. I can still make that. <laughs> 